The doctor completed his examinations on all of her daughters and informed her there was no reason to be concerned. As he spoke, he grinned, his tone warm and soothing. She expressed her gratitude and requested if she could make a quick phone call to inform her mother of the situation. Five seconds had passed since she had left the office when it happened. Upon taking her four-year-old daughter to the hospital, Carrie merely wanted to be sure it was not a more serious illness than a common cold keeping her awake at night. Because of the long trip to the hospital, Carrie had brought her two other daughters with her since she had no one to watch them. It was impossible for her to know what the doctor would do with them. There was nothing special about 35-year-old Atlanta, Georgia resident Carrie Jackson Smith. She was a successful real estate agent who had a beautiful home and the sweetest daughters in the world. Carrie raised her girls on her own after her divorce from their father a couple of years ago. Lisa, Mindy, and Cheryl, her three children, were her entire universe. Lisa was Carrie's youngest daughter, and she was only four years old. Carrie loved her daughters more than anything in the world, and her house was always filled with love and laughter. However, she noticed that her sweet Lisa, who was usually the liveliest of the family, became quiet and withdrawn as she pouted in the living room. Carrie felt concerned and tried to make sure that everything was okay, only to learn that her daughter was burning up. And despite sweating like crazy, she claimed that she was freezing. Carrie promised her she'd sleep with her that night after giving her a wash and some stew. She couldn't take the chance of whatever Lisa was carrying passing to Cheryl and Mindy. Even though it was late in the evening, nobody got any rest. Carrie drove Lisa to the hospital as soon as the sun came out, since her situation had escalated. It was a Saturday, and nobody was available to watch over her other two daughters. She needed to take them with her to the hospital. What they'd experienced that day would stay with her for the rest of her life. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Now back to the story. Carrie's family was allocated to one of the hospital's top physicians. Despite the fact that she didn't know him well, she'd heard good things about his professionalism, vivacity, and innovative approach to his patients. She prayed Lisa's condition wasn't serious, and that it wouldn't prevent her from being the radiant sweetheart she was. As they anxiously waited in the reception area, Dr. Carter, Carrie's pediatrician, summoned her and her girls to his office. He requested the four-year-old to sit on the bed next to his desk after a brief talk regarding Lisa's medical history. The doctor was efficient with his tests, maintaining a cheerful demeanor while assuring that Lisa remained calm throughout. Cheryl and Mindy were then asked to get on the bed. Carrie was completely unaware of what was going on in his mind. Dr. Carter completed his testing on Cheryl and Mindy and assured Carrie that she should not be concerned. He explained, it's only a cold. It's a little harsh on Lisa, but we'll give her something to help her reclaim her former self. Carrie expressed her gratitude and requested that she may make a quick phone call to inform her mother of Lisa's predicament. When it transpired, she had only been out of the room for five seconds. Cheryl's piercing laughter frightened Carrie. Dr. Carter joined in the laughs right away with a deep chuckle. Carrie decided to put down her phone and rush back to the office after hearing Lisa and Mindy laughing so loudly. With her neck craned, she peered into the room with her lips parted. She had entrusted this physician to cure her daughters. But what was he doing? Carrie was Dr. Carter was dancing with her daughters with music playing from his office computer. They were all laughing, a scene that glued Carrie to where she stood. Neither the doctor nor her daughters knew she was watching, and they continued to laugh as she recorded. Could anything be more breathtaking? As Carrie watched, she remembered the drive to the hospital. She'd been so worried about Lisa that she didn't utter a word for the one hour plus drive. She knew her worry and anxiety had seeped into Cheryl and Mindy, and could see that little Lisa hated putting all of them in this situation. She hadn't expected to see them laughing like this so soon, but it would get better. 
By this time, Dr. Carter had spied Carrie recording their dancing session and asked her to join in. He even asked her daughters to teach her some of the dances they'd shown him. Carrie posted the video on Facebook as soon as they drove from the hospital. She'd only meant to share it with her family and friends, but it suddenly went viral, changing her life forever. Carrie's video gained hundreds of thousands of likes and shares. Her daughters and Dr. Carter were at the center stage of the footage, busting moves as Carrie laughed in the background. Celebrities and media houses shared the video, showing that such simple acts of kindness were enough to light up the world, especially in times of crisis. People asked Dr. Carter why he danced with the three girls. His response left everyone stunned. Talking to a reporter from the local news, Dr. Carter said, some people I've worked with have told me, you laughter is the best medicine, especially for kids who need cheering up when they're sick. I'm ready to walk away from medicine the day that my heart is no longer in it, he said.